Hey guys, it's Metro here. Friday mail call. Something, something came in the mail today. Friday always produces the best stuff. Um, I've been waiting for this for a little while now. Uh, it's from North Carolina from four member. You'll shoot your eye out. Um, his name is Matt, and uh, he made some uh, HTPE blocks. And uh, he said, "Hey, do you wanna do you want some of these? I have some extra blanks, and uh, I want to see what you can do with them." I was like, "Yeah, sure," because I don't have the patience to make HTP, um, nor do I have any experience making them. So I gladly accepted his gift. Um, you can see that these are made from uh, recycled HTP bits uh, that have been put in either a press or the oven, um, and then pressed flat into uh, blocks. So you got some pretty wild colors. I uh, got some nice Canadiana here. That's gonna be a really cool uh, uh, Canada Day type uh, <laughs> slingshot I can make. Uh, we got black, red, and white. That's really cool. And we got this nice uh, royal blue, acid green, and white uh, with a bit of uh, gray in there. So I can't wait to uh, try and make something with these because. I, like I said, don't have the patience to make HTV blocks, but uh, I will definitely take uh, them as a gift, and I'll make something for you. Um, you'll shoot your eye out, so uh, keep that in mind. That's cool. Um, I also want to take an opportunity to show you some new uh, product that's coming to the store. For the last uh, couple weeks, uh, Magpie Slingshots and Magpie and I have been uh, going and designing um, a new take on the slim waisted original pickle fork shooter or the SWO PFS um, and this is kind of how it came about he's been designing and making his own um, sling uh, slim waisted PFS and uh, this is kind of the journal shape but we uh, took it a little bit different here we took some scallops in the uh, in the side so that it'd be more comfortable to hold in the end um, some band grooves so that when you tie stuff around them uh, it's gonna stay put uh, some uh, registration holes um, for the what you want to add scales or whatnot or just you know they're easy to fill uh, with the uh, eighth inch rod if you drill them out um, this is my addition to it the skeletonized part of it in the bottom um, just to make you know it's it cut out a little bit of weight but also um, it'll add um, opportunity to uh, wrap cord around it which brings me to a couple finished ones I made last night so I took one took three of these frames and then uh, Went to town on them and finished three frames last night. So here's one that's uh, highly polished. So you can see there's a, there's a lot of detail that goes into it. Not just like, you know, I can take this and polish it and that's it. But um, you have to take into consideration a lot of ergonomic uh, properties that this could possibly have. Um, first of all, you take, I took a um, the orbital sand, not orbital sander, the spindle sander, the big three inch drum, and then scalloped um, the finger area here so that you can get a nice, you know, positive grip on it. Um, that's quite good. I like that. And I also took um, the same spindle sander but with a smaller drum and then rounded this off so that it's more of a, more of a radius here so that when you're, the crook of your finger gets in there, it's nice and comfortable. Um, despite being super polished, um, it is a very comfortable hold and not very slippery. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but uh, definitely uh, had a lot of fun with it. Oh yeah, and also rounding off this edge here uh, for the bands to roll over um, like I have here. Um, these two frames have been sandblasted with uh, 3060 media, uh, and then this particular side has been polished back up to a shine. So I like this look. Um, it's a nice differentiation in the textures. Um, also the uh, the way that it grips is really nice because now your thumb is now engaging onto um, uh, a texture and it has more traction and uh, the same thing goes here where you the crook of your thumb uh, or crook of your index finger gets in there so left and right handed uh, it's going to be the same uh, I've done like I said uh, imagining uh, wrapping it with paracord on the side here um, and using the band um, uh, the band grooves I was able to attach some um, 04 millimeter uh, sorry, 0.4 millimeter latex on it, uh, which is great for paintballs and, and uh, 388 marble. Uh, it's nice and light. I believe it's pretty close to what their Van Blue is coming, is, is going to be like, so I have the, some of that in order. Um, but I also had a chance to try out the new FiberMark laser um, for uh, etching in on aluminum, uh, which previously was uh, impossible without the FiberMark technology. Uh, so that's an epilogue FiberMark. 
um, and I'm able to etch it on see and just kind of rub it with my finger and it's still there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it also works really great on polished. Uh, as you can see, it's a nice, you know, kind of a 3D effect. So yeah, that's that's what's been up to for the last week. Uh, it's been a busy week. I don't know how much time I have left. Uh, next week, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, more things come in the shop, more things going out, as usual. But uh, it's like every other week. So uh, hopefully more installments. Thanks for watching.